Okay, uh, we're going to give a lesson here on um, how to check your Freon levels for an older R22 or um, 407C um, refrigerant Freon unit here. Okay, um, now keep in mind, um, when you're looking at your Freon levels right here or your refrigerant levels, when the unit is off, okay, it's called a static pressure charge. So when the unit's off, uh, both sides of the red gauge and the blue gauge are gonna uh, they should be identical so um, this is also called equalized pressure so your pressures are equalized um, um, and if you look at your pressures you're getting pressures of around 125 uh, on the blue and 125 on the red uh, just to be approximate so your pressures are equalized okay but keep in mind um, this is not an accurate way to check your Freon. If you really want to check your Freon levels, okay, you actually have to crank on your unit, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to crank on the unit. I can actually crank on the unit from, from my phone over here. I'm going to crank it on, and we're going to see what the pressures are when the machine's running, right? So let's crank it on really quick. Um, see what the pressures are when we crank up this unit. Machine just cranked on right now. Now this is a, a, an R22 unit, or a 407C unit. Uh, the 407C unit is the actual now uh, replacement for R22. So let's see what these pressures are right now for an R22 system when this unit's running, okay? All right, so the machine just cranked up. Generally, uh, rule of thumb, um, for this type of air conditioning system for R22, you generally want a pressure of around 70, between 70 and 75, okay, um, in about a 90 degree day, or maybe 85 degrees on the on the on the blue side or the low side gauge. Um, the blue side gauge is also called the suction suction side gauge. Okay, now on the red gauge or the actual discharge side, that's called your high pressure side, okay? Your high pressure side, you want that really uh, when your AC is working okay. You want to be maybe like in the 250 range, but you don't want to exceed 300, okay? Once you get over 300, your AC is not going to be working that well and your machine will be struggling, okay? Um, now on the blue gauge You really don't want to be above 90 um, at Literally at any at any temperature Once you start getting at around 90 on the blue gauge uh, Your AC is also not going to work very well either. Okay, so um, Right now you're we getting pressures of around let's say 71 uh, which is actually very good Okay uh, On the red side gauge, which is your discharge You're getting pressures of around 255 Which is actually very good Now keep in mind Your pressures will change With the age and the efficiency of this of the unit This is uh, probably about maybe a um, A 12 sear unit Might even be a little 10 sear unit Okay This machine was made uh, actually 2011 okay this machine uh, right now we're looking at about uh, 13 years old um, these pressures are actually pretty good for a 13 year old unit uh, uh, somewhat of a maybe 10 sear or 12 sear unit okay so this machine the pressures right now are looking good um, they're about 70 on, on, on the uh, suction side and 253 on the actual discharge side. Um, so this is um, how you check your Freon levels on an R22 unit uh, slash 407C unit. Uh, this machine is actually working very good with these pressures. Uh, thank you and have a great day.